Hey guys, today I've got something pretty old school for you. It's the Armstrong Earth FK10 quad plane. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how it comes in the box, what you actually get in the box, a bit of a setup, and some flight footage. I've also got in the description below the video some information on the real FK10 quad plane. Uh, so if you're interested in that, check it out. So as you can see, the FK10 comes boxed with plenty of uh, protection on top. So we've got the wings here. They're in a separate bag and they're taped in quite well so they're not going to move around in shipping. So here we've got the fuse. Nice grey and green colour scheme. landing gear here and it looks like a few wing struts bag of hardware and some glue and the prop there and I've actually ordered some other stuff there's a couple of modes here so if you do order something small they will put it in with the box so here are all the parts and pieces laid out. The landing gear is wire construction with some plastic around it to make it look scale. And you've got your wing struts there with your propeller, your bag of bits and pieces, and they actually include some sticky back weights to help uh, adjust the CG. The wings come in six pieces with the top and bottom in one piece. And there's your tail there. One thing I did note with the tail, I got a bit of damage here and it is actually supposed to be attached to the plane and that's torn off so it's an easy fix but that's just something to note another thing is a bit of damage here uh, that's obviously been broken off but again that's going to be easy fixed now to get to the battery uh, i've never actually seen them do it this way before but you actually have to twist the cowl it's got like a, a groove there that you have to twist and then you can pull it straight out and there's your access to the battery don't worry about it unscrewing because the way that it's actually screwed on is the opposite direction of the motor so it's never going to come undone. And the actual motor doesn't actually say what it is uh, but it looks to be a 35-36 size motor and I'm guessing it's probably around 900 to 1000 kV. There is another access panel on the underside at the back. Uh, you just pull that up like that and that gives you access to your servos inside there. And now I'm going to go ahead, put it together, and see how we go. So everything's assembled now. All I have to do is install the radio gear. And that piece below the rudder has glued on fine. There were three pin hinges included with the kit, and they ended up being for the rudder. There is no uh, manual, but you can download one from Hobby King's site. So now I'm going to install the radio gear and take it to the field. So this is the maiden flight. What I didn't know at the time was I had the elevator set up wrong. Uh, what you need to do is set it up so it's parallel to the main wing, and that'll be a good place to start. I also was using a 2200 milliamp 3 cell, which is a lot smaller than the 3300 they recommend. So what I did was just wrap a bit of lead on the inside of the cowl, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Another little mod was the hinges for the ailerons were too restrictive, the foam ones, so I basically just cut all them and reset them with some standard uh, pin hinges, and that was a much less restrictive with that. I also replaced the aileron servos with HXT 900s, they seem to have a lot more torque. I replaced the speed controller with a 18 amp Turnigy, oh, I just don't trust the stock ones, um, and it's been fine like that. I also replaced the it's prop with a APC 10 by 4.5 slow fly, which is a lot stiffer than the standard one. Missed the runway. Okay, so that's the FK10. Uh, it's definitely not a beginner plane, you need to be intermediate or advanced, uh, purely because there's no self leveling in it, uh, you're constantly having to level it yourself. I uh, had all the throws set up to 100%, CG was 80mm from this front leading edge here. It does give you good looks when you take it to your club. I'll give it a thumbs up, but just make sure you got a bit of flying skills before you buy it. Uh, till next time, see you later.
looks like we've got two wing halves here. Now the motor can actually come straight apart. If someone should push him now, kick him in the butt. 